two kids, uh, two kids, cool kids, uh, back again, another day, hope you enjoyed all the backstage footage from yesterday, um, it was quite fun, quite an eventful day, uh, we did actually, a funny story, uh, thought at the end that we were stuck in the forest, we had no phones and stuff, we had to walk four miles, four and a half, something like that, miles, back to Ragnar Uprise's house, and I did have some footage from the walk, I did try to record as much of the walk as possible, but we had to walk through, I'm like, down some roads, some like really tight country bends, uh, no paths, and we were under risk of obviously dying, so, yeah, but I've lost the footage from any of the walks, so, unlucky, to be honest, it was quite an eventful walk, it was quite funny, quite funny, so, so yeah, um, Uh, what's the film Frozen today? Not sure if any of you have seen it. Basic story, random woman, two random guys skiing. One of the the women's with one of the guys called like Dan or something. The woman's called like Parker, which is a really odd name to be honest. For a woman, that is probably the weirdest name I think I've had that's heard. A woman in like sort of like a normal reality film be called. Her name's like Parker O'Neill or something. Yeah, that's a really strange name. And the other one's called Lynch, it's his surname, I can't remember his first name, it's Rob, or something like that. But anyway, basic story, stuck on a ski lift, well they basically, first, they didn't buy ski lift tickets, which is illegal, and they bribed the guy to let them on, it's pretty gay. And um, then they go back at night, they want to carry on skiing, but they're closing early because of a weather warning, they convince the guy to let them on, so this on a ski lift and then some other people happen, that guy gets replaced with someone else at the post who turns the ski lift off, blah blah blah, closed down for the week, so they're on a ski lift and there's a week until anyone comes back. Um, and they're stuck like half of a mountain, some guy jumps, weather goes bad, breaks his leg, blah blah blah, death, blah blah blah. Um, it's kind of a crap review but it's kind of a meh film, it's sort of like It would be good, it would be a good crisis movie if you haven't already watched the film Buried, which came out the same time Buried, it's a good film, Frozen is a good film, but it's not as good as Buried, and they came out at similar times, and sort of like Frozen, Blair, it's just meh, it's good, but in some ways it's not, I don't know why. I think it's because, despite Frozen being realistic, these things could happen. Buried is realistic, these things could happen as well, but Buried is just better. To be honest, Buried is just a better film. Frozen is it's good, but it's just not... It kind of feels like something's missing from Frozen. Some kind of key element. I'm not sure it's because they named a woman after the name of a pen company. It's just kind of like, there's this whole backstory with the woman and Dan's relationship sort of thing. Blah, blah, blah. But it's just, there's something missing. I'm not sure what, I can't really explain it. It's a good film, but blah, meh. It's there, but it's not, rem it's not remem memorable. I mean, that could be it. I sort of watched it and I thought, in like a couple of months time I'm going to forget I've ever seen this film. And it's some of my favourite films, if I kind of think about them every couple of days, I think, oh I haven't watched that for a bit. This film, I'm going to forget about it. Buried, I'm going to remember it. It was a good film, it was an event for him, Frozen. But yeah, anyway. Um... Alrighty, today I watched Frozen, obviously, babysat for my brother for a bit, blah blah blah, did some stuff, did some stuff, did some things. Um, but, what I found out today is something really irritating, it's time for a rant. And that thing, to be honest, is quite random. But... I'm not sure how to explain it, this thing that annoys me. But ba 
basically, I don't, I don't know how to explain it to you, but it's, it's kind of like quite a weird thing. The thing that annoys me is when it's kind of like earlier, it was like eight o'clock at night, and I was I was quite quite tired. Obviously, earlier it was eight o'clock at night because now it's twenty to midnight. It's eight o'clock, and I'm feeling really tired. I'm thinking, oh good, I can go have an early night tonight. This is quite a really random thing. All right, this is a random, random thing. And now it's, it's quarter to twelve. It's been one, two, nearly three hours since I fought. No, nearly four hours since I fought. I'm really tired. Go an early night tonight. But I've woken up. I haven't eaten anything else. I had dinner at about half seven, and now it's quarter to twelve. And I'm like, I am awake. I'm going to be up quite late tomorrow, I'm going to get up at like 9, I'm going to regret this, that I didn't just go to sleep like a reasonable time. So what I'm going to, it's body clocks, I know that's the expression for it, your body gets used to staying out to a certain time, so blah blah, or well, who the hell cares, it's like, well now, now I'm awake, my bloody body clock's cocked it up again, I'm going to wake up at 9, I'm going to be really annoyed, and for God's sake, I don't understand how this works, maybe I need to re research it. Maybe I should have done better in science at school. I actually did quite well in science at school, but still maybe I should have done a little bit better. I should have done some extra reading into body clock. But it's like, what the hell's the point? What the hell is what? I know this is a random rant, but it's like, seriously, body, sort yourself out. Maybe I should start going to bed at earlier times, all the time, trying to go to sleep. But I think, I know if I try to go to sleep, I'm going to be up all night, I'm going to be laying, I'm going to be rolling around, thinking, oh, I forgot that, and I'm going to get up again. So, like, oh. Um, if you have any, uh, advice on how to sort out my sleeping pattern, do let me know, maybe I need to be more active during everyday life, maybe that's my key, but the thing is, I don't see, I don't know if anybody else has this problem, but it's like, it's just like, for God's sake, I'm annoyed at myself more than having a rant, that my body clock's so out of proportion that I'm now going to go to sleep probably about an hour's time, wake up at nine and be like, oh, for God's sake, I'm knackered, and yeah, maybe I'm just what you're going to do about it. But yeah. Um, that's really all I've got to talk about tonight. Uh, tomorrow I'll probably be back ranting about something else that's completely random, completely strange. Hope you all enjoyed this video. Ciao.